Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my very own open source project. I feel like it's now ready to see the light of my YouTube channel. And hopefully if you guys are inter interested in contributing to this project, be sure to watch till the end of the video. So the open source project I've been working on is a mobile app. So the mobile app is called Deliver Me. So oftentimes I've noticed in my like day-to-day -day life is that I need to deliver something to maybe someone who lives in the city or in a nearby city, but the issue is that I have to get into my car and drive. I then realize this is also an issue for small businesses and people who don't have a lot of money or have very expensive gas prices, as in some places gas prices are rising. So what I decided to do was create an app that delivers stuff that allows you to create a request onto the internet that you want something delivered and it will tell where to pick it up and how much you're willing to pay a driver. And the way it works is that you can a, uh, pay someone and make money off of this app. Uh, due to the recent recession, lots of people don't have a lot of money. And this app could be a way for them to earn money. So, enough foreplay. Let's get into this app. So I'm just gonna make this a bit bigger. All right, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is go ahead and log in or sign up. So I'm already logged in. So I'm just gonna log right in. All right, and once I hit submit, it's gonna go into my server, a Python server I have in the back. And I'm gonna show you guys stuff about that a bit later. So currently I don't have any orders. So let's create one. So for the sake of this uh, video, I'm gonna be using the White House address. So the address to pick up is simply just 1600 Pennsylvania, yeah, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Then it asks for the province and state, or pro city and state. So the city is uh, NW, uh, Washington, DC. Washington, Washington, DC. I have this algorithm in the back that figures out the coordinates, the longitude and latitude based on the address. Then you specify the item. So the item that I want to deliver is a dozen eggs. A dozen eggs. And then what I want is the price. So the price that I'm willing to pay the driver. So I'm going to pay them 55 bucks. Uh, the next thing I'm going to be doing is information regarding the product. So the information is where you want it delivered, contact information, blah blah blah. So I'm just going to put some contact info. So contact at and a phone number. All right. And I'm just going to submit this order. And now what it's going to do is it's going to go into my backend and create an order. So now I can view it right over here. I can also view this on a map. So once you enter the map, it's going to go to your direct location and put you right over there. So I'm currently using a VPN, so it's currently over here. But if I were to zoom out, and this works better on a real mo mobile than the emulator, but as you can see, there's a marker right over here, and I can see it. If this was a real phone app and which didn't have a VPN, it would go to my current location and I could see nearby orders around me as well. So I could make some quick cash. All right, now I'm going to be exploring the uh, tech stack of this. So the first thing I'm going to be exploring is the backend. The backend was written using the Flask framework. Here's my GitHub documentation. So I have a proper, so I have a proper MySQL database running in the back, and I have instructions as well on how to run it. I have environment variables, so if you were to, you know, make a pull request, you would have to set all this up. I also have unit tests that are right over here, which we can look at right now. These unit tests help look to see if the data is properly working. I also have a Docker container and instructions as to how to build a Docker container. While this isn't necessary, it's a good practice. Now let's look at the mobile side. So for the mobile side, I have it linked to my backend pages or to my backend code repository as well. I explain the tech stack and how to run the app. So that's what the, your uh, README should be all about. Now you might be wondering, how can you guys contribute? To contribute, you guys can either contribute to the API itself or the mobile itself. To do this, just head over to projects, okay? And inside of these projects, you can uh, just click here. And it's going to show certain things that exist. So for example, if you were to go to the API, 
I need to use the SQL, the, I need to convert all of my SQL commands into SQL Alchemy ORM commands. So that's one thing you can do. Similarly, for the front end, I need to create error messages if the API does not load. So for the front end, I'm using Flutter. I'm not sure if I already specified that. And for the back end, I'm using Python. If you guys are interested in this, there's proper instructions on how to run this. All right, and if you guys have any questions as to how to run it, please uh, email me and I'm gonna have my email linked below. And it's also just the email that's on the YouTube channel. You can also leave comments down below as well. If you guys have any questions or inquiries, be sure to comment those down below as well. Thank you guys for watching, have a nice day.